Hello everyone, I hope you're keeping safe and well. Before I tell you today's story from the Bible, I've got some questions for us to think about. I'm sure that lots of you are probably learning how to get dressed all by yourself these days. But when you were a small baby, could you get dressed all by yourself? Hmm. Here's my jumper. Oh, I've got to find where the head goes. Oh, there we are. In we go. Right, two arms, make sure I can get them the right way. Oh, one over there to the right. That's it. And one over there. In it goes. Hmm. Not a bad job. But I couldn't have done that as a baby. Babies need their mummies and daddies to do that for them. What about your dinner? Who makes your food every day? Well, you need a grown up to go to work, to earn some money, and to buy the food at the supermarket. And then when they bring it all back, they need to cook it up for you, don't they? Mmm, mmm, into a nice delicious meal. But again, grown-ups need to do that. I'm sure you love to play lots of games. But what about when you don't know the rules? You need someone to explain them to you. A grown-up, probably. Or what about when you've got a craft to do? Oh, and it gets a bit tricky when those glue lids oh, won't come off. Ah, get it in the end. We need grown-ups to do those sorts of things for us too. We need mummies and daddies to do lots of things for us. And they're good at helping out, aren't they? Little children need things to be done for them because they just can't do them by themselves. They're not able to. And in our story today, lots of little children came to see Jesus. But Jesus' friends tried to stop the children. Don't bother Jesus. He's too busy for little children. Off you go. Oh dear. Jesus' friends thought that Jesus did not want to spend time with the little children. But they were wrong. Jesus said, do not send the children away. Let them come to me. Jesus said, grown-ups need to be just like these little children if they want to enter God's kingdom. The little children ran to Jesus. They wanted to talk with him and play games, sing songs and laugh with him. They fully trusted Jesus to love them and care for them. And Jesus did exactly that. In the same way that little children depend on their mummies and daddies to clothe them and feed them, protect them and care for them, God wants all of us, children and grown-ups too, to fully trust Jesus to protect us and care for us. We should never be socially distant from Jesus. In him there is nothing but love and when we put our trust in him, we too can live with him in God's kingdom. And that's great news for all of us. Should we pray? Hands together. Father God, thank you for Jesus teaching to us today that we can fully depend on him to love and care for us. And by trusting in him, we can live with you in your kingdom. Please help us to put our trust in Jesus today. Amen. Well done. Maybe you would like to know more about how to turn to Jesus or how to start praying if that's something that's new to you. Or if you've got a prayer request that the All Sorts team can commit to God for you. We'd really love to hear from you so please do get in touch with us. You can connect with us via the website, Facebook or via Twitter. Now before I go, there's a link to um, our song for today alongside this video and it's Great Big God. Those from All Sorts and Jack and Jill's Preschool, hopefully you'll remember the actions. You ready? Higher than a skyscraper and you've got to reach really tall. Deeper than a submarine, go down to the floor. Wider than the universe, stretch your arms out wide. And beyond my wildest dreams. I hope you can remember the actions and don't forget to clap along with it too. For our craft today, we thought you could have a go at drawing a self-portrait. That's a picture of yourself, but looking in a mirror. Here's my self-portrait. 
think it looks like me? Hmm, maybe. <laughs> Don't forget to ask a grown-up to help you, especially if you're going to be looking at the mirror. Have fun, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Bye.